Today we are talking about and breaking down everything that Mortal Kombat 1 did wrong. Let's get into it. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get right into this list. See, here's the thing. A lot of this might be subjective and, you know, more towards my taste and my opinion, but I feel like a lot of it is actually more objective and like just all around what's wrong with the game, especially at launch. Because as we know, the game's only a couple months old. So I'm sure a lot of this will be improved with time. These are just the things you might need to know about that I consider to be wrong with the game. Let me also state that I absolutely love Mortal Kombat 1. Though I can recognize we're going to talk about its flaws today, I absolutely absolutely love it. The first thing that I want to talk about that I consider to be a little bit of a flaw in Mortal Kombat 1 is not the gameplay itself, but the way the gameplay feels. And what I mean by that, it feels really fast paced. I know a lot of people want a fast paced fighting game and that can be, you know, more of a preference. I just feel like the game is a little bit too combo focused. Like I don't mind doing long combos like this and I can do long combos all day long. I can call my cameos. I can do it again. I can do and have fun with long combos. The problem is I personally just want more footsies. I want more neutral in my game. And that right there is just preference. I know it is. I know, I know there's a lot of people that love the long combos. They want to do zero to deaths. But as a fighting game, I just want more technicality to it. I want a bit more defensive mechanics. I want to fight more. I want to, you know, defend more. I just don't like that. It's like who can do the longest combo first and that's all it is. Again, I love the gameplay. I just think that might be a small flaw in it. Also a dumb small one is a lot of characters Characters have useless strings and specials and I feel like you could argue well yeah one step a lot of characters a lot of fighting games had that same issue but I'm talking like more than usual like to be honest with you the only real reason as a Raiden main that I would ever use my one two three combo here is for the brutality yeah I know the two part is a mid but even then I'm not really using this I'm going for the lows I'm going for the overheads and then there are also specials that just feel useless in a fight like I have this down back two move as a Raiden main it's a mid I know why that's useful but at the end of the day, this does more damage and it can go into combos using my meter, using cameos. Same with this special. This special does more damage. The point I'm trying to make here is I feel like there are more than usual combo strings and specials that just feel too useless in an actual fight. And that goes for almost all the characters. Let me know if you disagree down below. Another thing that I just do not like about Mortal Kombat 1 that I think needs to be changed honestly is the breaker is back and that's great. First of all, let me say that that's great. The breaker's back. I love having a breaker. I love having the option to literally break out of a combo and that can be a game changer and a lifesaver. But what I don't like about the breaker itself is it costs all your bar, all you get three bars in Mortal Kombat 1 and doing a breaker costs all three. Like it just feels a bit too expensive to me. Like I try and go here. Yeah, now, I have, now I'm completely out of bar like that. I just don't like that I have to use all my bar to break out of a combo. I was expecting two when they announced breakers are back, but we have to use all of our resources. And that's really your only defensive mechanic in the game besides, you know, actually blocking but while you're in a combo there's nothing you can really do so as soon as you use your breaker and then you guess wrong one more time for an overhead or a low mix-up that's probably game and that can get very frustrating at times one step that's a skill issue no it's not really skill it's more just like why is that my one option and it costs all of my resources you know what i'm saying with that same concept in mind i'm not a big fan of the fatal blow being attached to your health bar it doesn't feel like, oh yeah, I can use this to like, you know, switch around my opponent or like pull up the mix-ups or maybe do some more damage. It just feels like, uh, you know, a get out of jail free card if you're losing the match. Like if I'm winning the match and I'm doing all these fun things, I can't use my fatal blow because I'm winning. Most other fighting games don't do that. They say, yeah, you can build up this meter and use a super as you see fit. And I'm more of a fan of that aspect. I don't like that I have to be below 30% to actually get a super move. And not only that, I thought Mortal Kombat might take a different turn of events here and make their fatal blows do, I don't know, something else. Like they've always done awesome damage. So we can do this fatal blow. And it's a really cool animation. It's so much fun to watch but it only does damage. And what I mean by that is sometimes other fighting games in my experience have given you the option for super moves to have utility, support, and just other options. And I don't know, I kind of wish Mortal Kombat did that or tried it at that. You know, they experimented with like different versions of Fatal Blows. Like how can we make it better and not just do like just damage? Again, this might all seem like preference, but I just feel like they could have done more with the Fatal Blows. Also, another thing I'm not a big fan of in Mortal Kombat 1 is the way they did chip damage. I'm okay with chip damage. That's totally fine. 
fine. I understand that. The problem is, is it's almost never scaled unless you flawless block or up block. And there are some characters like Raiden that have a super awesome move, like down back three, yeah. that does multiple hits and does pretty dang good chip damage. And the most frustrating thing about that is, you know, Baraka, Raiden, these characters have these moves that just do awesome chip damage. And chip damage can and will kill you. And that can be a problem. If I do this long combo and it's so good, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got this long combo great. And I get you down to be like, you know, 10% or less. You might think, oh, I have a chance. I can wake up and do armor. I can wake up and, you know, bring back the fight. And Raiden just says, nope. And that move right there will kill you even on chip damage. So really the only way to defend against stuff like that is either flawless block in the first move, thus reducing your chip damage for the rest of the string or rest of the hits, or trying to get armor on the move and going through it and hopefully not dying. So maybe my biggest gripe with chip damage is that it can kill you in a fight and that kind of sucks. Like I wish that once you were below like 10% that you just didn't take chip or highly reduce chip. I don't know how they would do it, but man, it can get frustrating at times. Mortal Kombat's always been known for this problem but there is still a very prominent meta in the game meaning there are characters like baraka johnny cage raiden melina kenshi that these characters are just so good at the game with what you know the kit they have and a lot of players out there they don't really care about playing a character they want to play they just want to play the best character so they go on they're like okay who's the best character they're like oh okay raiden's really good i've never liked raiden but he's just top tier right now so i'm gonna play him and do this awesome stuff and I understand to a point, but I just wish there was a bit more balance to the game. There is a clear line of the top five or six characters and the bottom six characters. Again, I just wish there was a bit more balance to it. As of right now, and gosh, I hope this changes by the time you're watching this, but again, as of this recording, there is no crossplay in Mortal Kombat 1, which is wild to me that a fighting game in 2023 does not have crossplay. Like MK11 had crossplay near the end of its life, and right now, we in Mortal Kombat 1 years later, we don't have crossplay crossplay like we can't even have open lobbies with like a lobby id or something like that if you want to run private matches again as of right now you have to be friends with that person on the same console to then be able to fight them and that's just frustrating so again hopefully by the time you're watching this they fixed it also another thing wrong with the game is the switch version exists like yeah let's put the game on switch but f the ps4 and xbox one players that was just a weird decision to me i don't like that i wish they would have put the game on the older gen consoles thus expanding their audience and player base i'm getting a bit nitpicky here but also with the intros mortal kombat 1 only has two line intros like before the fight happens and we're used to like you know one two once or like back and forth in a way and it's kind of just takes a little bit away from the life of the intro of the characters you must continue to learn i would welcome your instruction Again, I know that's nitpicky, but it is what it is. You can customize your character to a good point with one gear piece, palettes, and taunts and finishers, but there's no way to customize the actual outro of the character. So every time the game ends, if it's not a brutality or fatality, the outro is always the same. And I like that in Mortal Kombat 11, we can change our outros and just spice it up a little bit, you know? So maybe I'm saying I want more customization. Yeah, that's probably it. Also, the shrine on here only allows you to do a thousand coins at a time. And you gotta wait what feels like forever to get your prize dude let me bet all like my all my thirty thousand coins let me bet them all at one time get my 30 prizes and then head out of there i don't want to sit there for 10 minutes just betting a thousand betting a thousand betting a thousand then finally you're getting one prize over and over and over again again i'm dead picky i know invasions is a great mode i love invasions but it's more of a live service mode and i wish it got updated i like that but i wish after it got updated it was more of a downloaded you know game mode so that it wasn't really connected to the servers because i don't know about you guys but i've been disconnected from invasions more often than not and it can get so frustrating i'm not fighting online i'm just playing a simple you know single player game mode and then out of nowhere i'll just get disconnected and i'm like what the heck so i guess what i'm trying to say is i need their servers fixed man overall i absolutely love mortal kombat 1 again i can recognize its flaws but still appreciate it but be a glass half full kind of guy i know that it'll get better with time but with that being said let me know down below what are your thoughts on mortal kombat 1 what did they do right what did they do wrong let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time